Hi everyone, Karen Greenstreet here from the Success Alliance. And today we're gonna to talk about how to frame a hot seat topic. What happens is one of your members gets into the hot seat and they have to talk about their topic for the day. What is the problem or the challenge that they want to have the group brainstorm with them around? And what happens often is that people don't really know what it is they're asking. They haven't prepared, they don't have a clear topic. And so this video is all about how to get clarity on that and how to help them through that as the facilitator. So what you don't want to have happen, of course, is for them to have such a rambling and disjointed hot seat preamble that you get to the situation where everyone in the group is confused. And if you can facilitate that process and run the group so that everybody is clear on what's going on, your meetings will be faster. They'll, you can go deeper into conversation and the person in the hot seat can get their needs met. So here are four pieces of information that you're trying to get from the person in the hot seat. You want to know specifically what help do they want from the mastermind group? Do they, are they trying to solve a problem? Are they um, just looking to talk through a situation to make sure they're thinking clearly? Do they want to hear other people's experience around a particular topic? Um, are they trying to make a decision? What is it they want? The second thing we want to try to get from them is what is the exact problem or situation that they want to explore? Kind of give us a history. Tell us what's going on. The third thing is in the hot seat, are they looking to make a decision or solve a problem that day? Meaning they want to have the discussion and they want to pick one solution, or they're really just trying to figure out a bunch of different options. They just want to brainstorm. We also want to know what they've tried already, because there's no sense people giving suggestions of things to do to fix a problem that the person in the hot seat's already tried. Here's a trick, though. Just because they tried it didn't mean that they implemented that solution well. So they might have said, oh, I've already done that. Ask them to tell, tell me a little bit about how you tried to solve this problem. Maybe a few tweaks would be all they need in order to be able to, to reinstitute that same solution, but at a higher level. Um, what I always do is instead of having them kind of work chronologically where they would be telling their story and then asking for the help, I ask them to ask for help for the help first. And I call it the ultimate question. What is your ultimate question at the end of this hot seat? What would you like the answer to? And they might say, I, you know, my ultimate question is, is how can I decide between A and B? How can I solve this problem? Uh, maybe their ultimate question is, am I thinking clearly about this? Then after they state their ultimate question, we can listen really clearly to their backstory, the information they're gonna give, the details they're gonna give. And in that way, we know what to focus on and what not to focus on. If they start with their story first and then finally get to their ultimate question, we've had to listen to that whole story, not really understanding what the point is. And so we don't know what to focus on in the mastermind group. So here's the kind of backstory information that we're looking for. Um, first, a history of what's happening. You know, why is this a problem now? Um, where they're stuck, specifically, what, what's the challenge? What are their own thoughts? What, what's going on in their head? Because part of it we want to hear is what is their thinking process? We also want to hear is there any limiting beliefs or anything else going on or assumptions that may be clouding the situation for them that they're just not aware of. But as they talk it through, we hear it. And that's one of the values of mastermind group is this second set of eyes and ears, right? Uh, we want to know in their backstory, what have they already tried? And then also how this situation is related to their goals. Are they focusing on a problem that isn't going to help them get further because there's a real bigger problem that they're avoiding discussing? So we want to know how does this fit into the big picture of what they're trying to create in their world. So say that a business mastermind group member is stuck on setting a price for their new product. So instead of starting their presentation, their backstory with all the background information about why they're confused about their pricing structure, um, have them start with the ultimate question like, for my target audience, 
and my profit goals is $389 the right price for this product? That's the ultimate question. Is this specific price the right price for this product for this audience? Then tell us the backstory so we can see you know, how you got to that. So let's just say you're doing a mastermind group for CEOs and leaders. Their ultimate question might be something like, um, what factors do I need to consider when informing my employees that I'm going to be retiring? That's a good question. And then they can list some of the things that they've already thought about what they're going to say and things they're concerned about saying that might not come across right. And then we can help them sculpt what it is they're going to create. So by asking the hot seat member to condense down uh, his topic and his backstory into one question, it forces him to think more clearly about what he really wants from the group. Um, one of the things that you also need to pay attention to is you have very limited amount of time in a hot seat. Most hot seats are 15 or 20 minutes. And so um, if they can't frame their hot seat topic clearly and concisely, they take a huge amount of time talking about the problem. And that limits us to like five minutes to brainstorm. And really what we'd like is the most brainstorming time possible. So when you teach your members how to frame their hot seat, it benefits them that they're going to get the best ideas and go deeper into the conversation because there'll be more time to do that because they're not rambling on and on during their hot seat. I think you guys know I am a big fan of preparation work when it comes to mastermind groups. If you have them think through their hot seat in advance, if you have them share that with the other members in advance, then everyone can be prepared for the meeting and you're going to have a much more successful mastermind group meeting. See you in the next video. If you want to get notified when I post a new video about mastermind groups, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the little bell icon so you get notified. In the description area of this video, I'm posting a link to my free video tutorial all about starting and running mastermind groups called Speed Up Growth. I'm also posting some links to different blog posts that I have and other videos that I've created that you're going to find helpful when you create and facilitate your own mastermind groups. Drop a comment below in this video if you have any questions or if you would like to suggest a topic for my next video.